Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Opens with the inside leg kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, what a punch! See his hands look good, a lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job in accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? He is throwing a fast three hard jab. That's not a feeler jab, that's one that's really knocking the head back.
just out of range with that kick attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Highest kick landed by this gentleman. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. A game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Three minutes now to go in this one. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. land another jab there and certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique and before you know it, boom, he lands. Well, missed on that one. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step to get him to slow down and fight at your best. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that right hand. Liver kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lunges forward with a left there. Unable to connect with the right. Nice punch lands over the top. Right punches there. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked though by Lee. He loaded up that right there too. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Twenty seconds to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take the They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, and he popped the kick. He has a 
commitment to kick it tonight and show. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Unable to connect there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Good stick. over when he throws that kick. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Trying to hammer that big leg. That was a nice strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Kick to the body by Lee. Nice strike. Oh, nice move to the body, just what he needed there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Big leg kick lands. Body kick is blocked. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big left hand there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. But that punch, no good. It's okay, keep going. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, big head kick. Overhand attack now, it's blocked by Lee. Good punch land. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. All right, round three coming up next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead 
and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big punch land. Ooh. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice right hand, John. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. There's no tell on that leg kick. his opponent's midsection here in this round. Head kick. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Nice loop at once. Hands up. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, straight right. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it that with the right time. Great punch landed with so much power. Back and forth we go here. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Sneaky head kick. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to paint one. Oh, oh, oh over the top. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Beautiful kick. Connects with the right. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Lee's kick is blocked. Nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time oh. to land that. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Fifteen seconds. 
Ali gets caught with that punch. Spinning back fist. And he lands the knee to the body now. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Try to establish that jab. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well placed with the kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, big punch land. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Sneaky head kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just unable to quite find that range. Big head kick land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice punch land. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Powerful leg kick lands. Lands to the body there. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just misses with the jab there. Needed the head. Big kick lands. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Uh -oh. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big shot lands. Oh, big left. Lunges forward with a left there. Big kick lands. Attempts the front kick there. And an uppercut. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. And made 
Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him for a very bad hit kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big kick land. Final seconds. Of round four. Whiffs on that offer. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look Ready? pretty fresh to me. We know Ready? cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. Lee's cut on his cheek is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands through the middle. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Misses with the right hand. Nice defense there, huge block. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Huge connection right there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big kick lands. Leg kick. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. He's going to have to change some things here. Spinning back fist. Another strike to the head land. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that to with? We'll see very short. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, He's landing. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Straight to the body there by Lee. Oh, that's a nice strike. What a bottom kick. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Continues to mix it up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. He blocks the punch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, nice right hand. How about that chin? Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice body kick right under the elbow. 
knee to the midsection there. Straight punch lands. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Oh, big elbow. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Roundhouse kick, and it lands. It lands, and even if you think you're blocking it, it really is still having an effect on your opponent. A hook to the head by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful body kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Real quick leg kick. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, big. Judge two scores it, 48-47, lead. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Bruce the Dragon! So there he is, your winner by the narrowest of margins. Only three scorecards in the world matter. Two of them thought he won. I mean, you could tell that he wasn't sure he had got enough done to win the fight. He gets the decision. It was a very close fight, and it's well earned.